We're learning more about the tornado that touched down near Trinidad yesterday. The National Weather Service has officially rated it a strong EF1 tornado, producing winds as high as 110 miles per hour. You know, that makes it even more incredible is that a team we spoke with yesterday survived that twister after getting too close to it. Cardio News Channel 13, Scott Harrison is tracking other unusual aspects of the twister. He's live at the Newsplex with a story that's new at 10. Scott? Well, what made yesterday's tornado so unique is where it touched down, how powerful it was, and how long it stayed on the ground. 18-year-old Wyatt Trepfer is lucky to be alive to remember his experience today. It was like something out of the movie Twister, a tornado too big and fast to run away from, and close enough for an eyewitness to experience it. I just laid on the ground for probably 10 seconds, and, you know, it just kind of... Pelted me with rock. 18 year old Wyatt Schrepfer bears the scars to prove it, and a family friend attests to the twister's power. I could see large trees um, floating around in the, in the funnel, and it was just a surreal experience. I've never seen anything like it. KRDO Storm Tracker 13 meteorologist Jay Polk says few people in that part of the state have seen anything like it. The tornado was on the ground for nearly an hour. Last time we had a tornado in Trinidad itself, just south of Trinidad, was in 1983. Then we had another tornado in 1965 in the same neighborhood. Jay says the Trinidad tornado is something that researchers, let alone residents, will remember for a long time. Normally these tornadoes, in addition to being weak and not being on the ground very long, they typically affect very rural areas. Actually, it could help researchers if they do decide to research into this tornado to kind of get an idea of what tornadoes in this part of the state are capable of. And we now have a better idea of that. We sure do. Now, the Trinidad tornado was part of an unusual day for twisters across Colorado. Jay tells us four tornado warnings and six reported tornado sightings yesterday. But he says it's not part of a trend. Live at the Newsplex, Scott Harrison, KRDO News Channel 13. Jay, a lot of interesting facts about that twister yesterday. Yeah, there were quite a few of them. Just how wide it was, up to a quarter mile wide, that's also fairly unusual for a tornado in that part of the state.